Hey y'all, welcome and welcome back to Summertime Tarot. For those of you who don't know, my name is Summer and this here is a November reading for Sun, Moon, Rising, Sign, Sagittarius. All right, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. Let's see what the theme for the month is for you guys. So we have here, love where you are, use your sensitivity to know when to act, connect your heart to your head when determining what you would like. Okay, bottom of the deck we have push to surface. You may have become complacent. You might be stalling or in need of a new surge of energy. Become aware of the dynamics of your life. <clears throat> okay, so it looks like, you know, you guys might have been experiencing a feeling like like a stagnancy um and so with the love where you are it's kind of like for the month of november it's going to be important for you to kind of it's almost giving me the vibes of kind of like taking in the scenery being present where you are taking in what you can what's necessary letting go of the rest in preparation for it seems like you know some kind of big moves that you guys may be planning or just you know moving into a new space within yourself within your life Okay, but let's go ahead and get into the reading here. So for your blessing for the month, we have the garden and the gate. Your challenge for the month, we have man holding a coin. Your message for the month, we have patience. And your lesson for the month, we have community. Okay, so it looks like here with the garden and the gate, you may be in a space where there's something here that you want to do, something that you want to pursue, right? But you may feel like you're not either stable enough you don't have enough money or you're just not grounded here right you may not be feeling your best like you may like you may not feel that you have enough resources or enough knowledge or you just feel you know maybe even just be feeling stuck here like you can't make it to where you want to get to right but with the patience here it's like a need to have patience with yourself with the situation right and then community here right make sure that you're connecting with people that are around you that you're making use of i feel the people the support around you and that you're not trying to do everything by yourself okay but let's go ahead and clarify these cards right with the garden and the gate i feel like you know some of you may be holding yourself back here right but for uh, for especially with the love where you are, it may be a good thing, right? To make sure that you're, you know, preparing yourself for any big moves, um, that you're getting yourself together to do whatever it is you're trying to do and that you're not rushing, right? But that you're preparing for this new change or this new adventure that you're about to embark on. Okay. And with the man holding the coin, I feel like, you know, it's it's important for you to kind of know your worth, to but also to know your limits, right? To not push yourself too far or too hard or too fast, right? But that you're pacing yourself and that you're making time for fun as well. That you're not so serious or so focused on, you know, future goals that you're forgetting to enjoy where you are now. All right. Mm 
<coughs> Excuse me. So clarifying the garden and the gate, we have the high priestess and the chariot. So yeah, I feel like some of you, you know, you may be very ready to kind of push forward, to move, to make progress. Um, but just make sure that you're aware of yourself and your, like I was saying, like your limits, that you're not forcing anything, you're not rushing, that you're not kind of missing any details or information because you're trying to kind of move forward too fast, right? And then with the man holding a coin, we have judgment and the nine of pentacles. Yeah, so I feel like, you know, some of you may be, right? It may not be that all of you are in a space where um you're pushing forward moving really fast it may be you know some of you may be kind of like in a complacency kind of space where like you've kind of gotten in, you know comfortable with where you are um but you may not be feeling ready to make any moves right just make sure that you know you're utilizing what you already have at your fingertips and that you're not kind of looking outside of yourself or like comparing yourself to others or feeling like you're not good enough because you aren't where you want to be, right? Just make sure, you know, you're not holding yourself back because you are afraid that you'll never make it, right? What I I was recently watching um a show psych. I'm kind of into it now, but <laughs> um in one of the scenes like the captain was like, you know, there's a difference between um or just know the difference between healing and delaying kind of getting back to you know back in the swing of things so right make sure you're not delaying because you're kind of afraid or you feel like you're not good enough or you feel like you're not ready right um because a lot of times you know with the chariot here it's like you may be kind of slowing your progress or kind of holding back because you feel like you kind of need things before you get going and a lot of times you pick up what you need along the way right so just make sure that you're not kind of holding yourself back because you feel like you don't have enough or you feel like you're not good enough right but that you're being aware of yourself being aware of what you need and that when you're ready right and Oftentimes, you know, sometimes when it comes to decisions, you're not always ready. Or when it comes to changes in your life, you're not always ready. Sometimes things just happen. But, you know, you have to believe that, you know, you're capable and you're able to, you know, what's shake and move, you know, and you can grow and learn along the way. Okay, but clarifying patience, we have the Hierophant and death. So some of you may be experiencing some like work changes, right? You may be, um, some of you may be wanting to kind of move from one job to another or may have experienced some kind of um, loss of a job um, and you may be looking for another one, right? Just make sure you're, you know, you're patient with yourself, you're patient with the process, um, that you don't kind of get down in the dumps because you kind of feel like you know things aren't moving or getting to where you want to go as quickly as you feel you you need to right you know just take your time it's a process um things are going to change things are going to improve it just may take some time okay in clarifying community we have ace of swords and queen of cups Yeah. So I feel like some of you may be kind of like avoiding your emotions here. You may be kind of you may be either using maybe like food or whatever it may be to kind of numb your pain or like to avoid your feelings. And it may be important for you in this month to, you know, spend some time being aware of your feelings, reflecting on things and kind of healing, letting things go, being aware of like your emotional needs so that you're not making any kind of, um, it's kind of like what's coming to my mind is, you know, they say, don't go to the grocery store hungry, right? Just make sure you're not making any kind of big decisions, um, out of a space of anger or out of a space of like emotional kind of need or like neediness. Um, but that you're aware of your emotions so that they're not affecting you or influencing you in a negative way, okay? But let's go ahead and get your affirmation for the month. Okay, 
So we have, today I choose to nourish my body by making healthy choices. Your question to go along with that, what foods will I avoid today? How will I reiterate this affirmation to myself when I crave something that doesn't align, that doesn't align with my health goals? Okay, yeah, so that kind of goes along with what I was just saying. You know, just make sure you're aware, I feel, you know, of your emotions um, and um, what you need, how you're feeling so that they're not affecting you or affecting the choices that you make in a negative way, right? When it comes to food, when it comes to relationships, whatever it may be, however it may be showing itself in your life, just, you know, just make sure you're aware and that you're making healthy choices this month, okay? But let's see um, what you should focus on for the month of November. Then we're going to get some advice for you. All right. So we have here boundaries. Let's see if anything else wants to come out. Ooh, all right. <laughs> So we have boundaries and self-reflection. Bottom of the deck, we have peace. Yeah, so just make sure um, you're spending time, you know, connecting with yourself emotionally, that you're reflecting, that you're paying attention to how you're feeling, but that you're, you're also, you know, being aware of your boundaries, that you're not kind of allowing um, the feelings or the needs of others to kind of influence you or affect you in a negative way. Um, but also, you know, that you're not kind of carrying around or kind of hoarding keeping things in right but that you're releasing them um any kind of negative feelings or emotions right it may be good to journal here or even to kind of communicate with friends or family about how you're feeling so that you know you're not kind of holding on to negative stuff and it's not kind of weighing you down or making it hard for you to you know be your fun loving happy peaceful self okay but let's get your advice and then we're going to get a final message for you So we have intimacy, open up and get close and contentment, be satisfied. So yeah, for the month of November, right, going back to love where you are, um, you know, with the contentment here, find ways to kind of be content with where you are, even if it may not be exactly how you want it to be. Um, spend some time connecting with other people, opening up. Um, embracing how things are now in order to kind of get ready for and prepared for all of the changes, all of the things that you want right here with harmony on the bottom of the deck, get on key, right? It may be beneficial to, you know, connect with others, your community here um, to talk about how you're feeling or just to open up, to have fun, right? To enjoy where you are, to love where you are, so that you can feel better prepared and able to kind of move forward in an easy and a calm, smooth kind of way, okay? But let's get your final message here, and then we're going to close this reading out. Okay. 
Okay. So we have... Dearest you, we're a chatty bunch over here, always talking about how to support you in your life's journey. We communicate to you through the language of oracles, dreams, signs, metaphors, and omens. In your life on earth, however, clarity in your communication is essential to being understood. You don't speak in symbols, and if you did, you would definitely confuse things. Right now, you're facing a situation in which you're being asked to have integrity. Be clear and learn how to ask for your needs to be met. The first step is to admit out loud that you have needs. The second is to ask out loud for them to be met. And the third is to allow the other person, organization, or even us to answer you. When you follow these steps, you can most definitely expect an answer. In your favor, affirmative, we say. Loving you so very much. All right. But that's all I have for you, Sagittarius. I hope this reading helped you in some way. Don't forget to let me know down in the comments how it resonated. If you liked it, be sure to give the video a thumbs up. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already so that you can see more videos like this one. I truly appreciate you and hope to see you soon. Peace out.